What would you do if you were concerned about something your first grader was about to be taught at school? Would you keep your concerns to yourself or raise them with someone in a position to help? I can tell you what I did. I went to the principal, and I was fired for raising my concerns. Within 24 hours of my discussion with the school principal, I lost my job in the school district where I had worked for over 10 years as a teacher, and I was fired with the full support of district administrators. My name is Lindsay Barr. I'm a Christian, a wife, and a mother of three. Up until very recently, I was also a public elementary school teacher here in Bryan County, Georgia. It was a role I'd cherished since I was first hired full-time in 2008, and it was one I was looking forward to continuing in a part-time capacity as my own children grow. But that ended abruptly in 2022. That's when school officials fired me for respectfully raising concerns as a parent about a book to be read to my children. That August, I learned that our elementary school librarian planned to read a book advancing an ideological agenda to each class, to children as young as four years old, and including the classes of two of my kids. On one page, two women, one of whom is pregnant, embrace as they walk to and later arrive at school with their young daughter. On another page, two co-parenting men are shown at school with their young son. My Christian faith has always motivated me to treat everyone with kindness and respect, no matter if they disagree with me on important issues. I believe that all children deserve to be loved, welcomed, and received into their classrooms, regardless of their family background. The same foundation that guides me to love others also teaches me what marriage and family mean. As a Christian, I believe that marriage is the God-ordained, lifelong union of one man and one woman. That's what my husband and I teach our children and what we've done our best to model day in and day out for the past 14 and a half years. Our efforts don't stop at the schoolhouse gate. Georgia lawmakers agree. Just last year, the Georgia Parents' Bill of Rights reaffirmed parents' fundamental right to direct the upbringing and the moral or religious training of their children. The law requires school districts like Bryan County to develop procedures for parents to object to instructional materials in their children's classes. So when I find out that two of our children were going to be reading a book contradicting what we teach them at home, I reached out to their teachers to ask them to excuse our kids from participating in the read aloud. They agreed, and one thanked me for bringing it to her attention. After all, she has children of her own in the school too. In the meantime, I asked the principal if we could have a quick chat. I had worked well with this principal since we taught the same grade when I was hired in 2008. In fact, she'd written me encouraging notes over the years, calling me a, quote, fantastic teacher, and thanking me for going above and beyond for each of my students. I hoped that by raising the issue in private, as a mother and on my own time, we could have a healthy, productive conversation. During our chat, I pointed out that my concern wasn't just with pictures in the book, but also the questions and comments I expected would be a part of the read aloud. I also expressed concern over what I saw as a larger trend of ideological indoctrination at the school. For example, one elementary school classroom had a poster showing two men in love with the caption, all adults have the right to marriage and to raise a family. You don't have to agree with me, I wrote to the principal in a follow-up email that included a picture of the poster, but I appreciate you having the conversation and allowing me to see your perspective as a public school administrator. The next day, I couldn't log into the web portal to pick up substitute teaching assignments. A few days later, school officials met with me to confirm my termination. The principal accused me, 
simply based on my expression of my religious beliefs of harboring biases against same-sex couples. And though I have never received a complaint about my treatment of any student because I treat all with respect, the principal told me she had concerns that I could not support students who had parents that identify as gay. As a Bryan County Schools employee, it seems you can either privately express your concerns about what your own children are being taught, or you can stay quiet to keep your job, but you can't do both. That's wrong, and that's why I reached out to Alliance Defending Freedom for help. Our first step was to send a letter calling on the school district to respect my First Amendment right to free speech. When district administrators ignored our letter, we had no choice but to file a lawsuit. Teachers shouldn't be fired for expressing genuine concern about what is being taught in schools, especially when it's being taught to their own children. What's happening to me isn't right, and I'm standing up because I don't want it to happen to anyone else. Follow my case at adflegal.org. You can find more stories like mine at adflegal.org slash freedom matters. Before you go, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share it with a friend.